Hi everyone, Michelle Lam here. Today we are going to play around with InVivo's transcription software. And the first thing you need to know is that it's a little different in that you're going to do it in a browser, so you don't open up InVivo, you need to open up a browser first. You open up a browser and you're going to type in transcription.myinvivo.com. Now usually this will take you to a login page. I've already logged in, but your login will be whatever you have logged into in vivo with. If you have an institutional in vivo, you might need to check with your institution to see if they have in vivo transcription. Now you can see here, these are older transcripts that I've worked with. And so just to show you how to do this, I'm going to open up a new tab and I, thought a lot about what I could use for audio that also wouldn't violate confidentiality. And I think what I'm going to transcribe is an old podcast that we've done here at BU Cares. So we have a podcast, just a little plug. Um, it's called the Leaning In and Speaking Out podcast. It's right here, brandingnew.ca, BU Cares, Projects, Podcasts. Here we go. So I'll just download the most recent one and then we'll use that as data. So I'll just keep it here on my desktop. It's an MP3 file. And as that's downloading, I'll just go back to the transcription and I'll show you how to upload a file. So you can upload a lot of different formats. They're listed here. The files get deleted 90 days after you've uploaded them. So make sure if you want to keep them somewhere other than in this in vivo platform, make sure you download them to your computer or wherever you store your files. And all you need to do is click on browse files, click on the file that you want to transcribe, and then it will upload here and it will ask you to choose the language. And then you just click transcribe. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you a couple other things once we have it downloaded. Okay, so we're going to select the language. This is a podcast in English. We're going to click transcribe. So that took about, I want to say around four or five minutes. And depending on the size of the file, the number of speakers and so on, it might take a little longer or a little shorter, but it's pretty quick, all things considered. So you have the option here to open the transcript in this platform. It gives you a bit of an editor. I usually like to open it in Word. And so I'm going to click on these three dots and export to a Word document. You also, by clicking on those dots, can delete your files, etc. So I'm just going to keep it on my desktop for now, and I'm going to show you what it looks like in Word. So you will see here, this is how it looks when it comes out. It will just say speaker one, two, etc and it has timestamps and then it does some kind of weird things with punctuation it will sometimes leave a little space between some of the punctuation this is pretty easy to fix with the find and replace tool so i'm just going to use that i'm going to find all of the space periods and replace them with straight periods there were 358 of those i'm going to do the same thing for question marks and the same thing for commas and that should clean it up pretty nicely. It's So that's how you do in vivo transcription. If you don't have in vivo transcription or can't afford it, uh, there are some good free softwares out there that you can try. I've used words voice to text where you just read it and it will um, make, an, uh, make an annotation of your words or make a transcript of your words. Um, there are some others you can play around with. There's lots of free trials online. In vivo also has a free trial. If you just have a short thing to transcribe, you might want to give that a try. It's on their website. Um, but again, let me know what else you want to play around with with InVivo, and uh, we'll see you next time.